Let's make eight ladybug themed spring decor and decorate a spring tear tray with me. For the first DIY, I'm going to make a few ladybugs. So I'm taking cardstock paper in red and black and anything circular, any kind of lead with a circle size of your choice and trace out circles in both red and black and then cut them out. So I've cut a few pieces of bigger circles. I've also cut a small black circle which I'm going to cut into half to get a semicircle. I'm pasting this black semicircle right at the tip and behind my bigger black circle. Next I take my red so big circle and cut it in half not separating it, just dashed it at the tip so that I can separate out the wings like this and glue it on top of my black circle and I have the body of ladybug ready. Now using a black color pen, I'm making the spots or the dots of ladybug. I'm trying to keep them as much symmetrical on either sides of the wings of the ladybug as much as possible. Slight different doesn't matter, it only adds to more 3D effect. So I made a few bigger sized ladybugs and I'm going to make some smaller ladybugs. Smaller ones are even easier. I'm taking the red cardstock paper and black color pen and sketching out my ladybugs in different smaller sizes and then just cut them out from outside the outline. That's it. So I have a couple of the smaller ones and the bigger ones. Let's put them all into today's decor. My second DIY. So one needs a small canvas or a picture frame with wooden border on the side and white inside. So this is according to my theme. I am gluing my big ladybug on one corner at an angle. Now my color scheme today is wood white some pops of red and touches of black so this is the color scheme that's going on throughout the spring decor DIYs today so i'm taking a black pen and as you see i'm writing down the words ladybug kisses spring wishes i even added details like the antenna of the ladybug and traced a dotted line for the part of ladybug here and a cute sign is ready. For my third DIY, I took a tag sign and I have already placed a white paper all over my tag to form the white base of the tag. It has the steel grommet which makes it look really nice. Again, the, I'm writing the words, don't bug the lady. And I have placed and glued my ladybug, the big size one, in the bottom and added some details like the antenna and the path. And now I am taking a little bit piece of jute rope whose ends I have tied a little knot so that they don't fray and look neat. And I'm taking the two free ends, tying a knot to form a loop and feeding the loop through the grommet hole and taking the free ends out of the loop so to uh, fix the loop on the tag. Now to finish it off, I took a red bow in satin ribbon and I'm going to fix it right at the tip of junction of the jute loop and the tag. I think this is beautiful. 
For my fourth DIY, I took a small rolling pin. This is in dark wood color and the center has been already painted white. I just changed the center portion for season and use it in my seasonal decor. So I just take a paper color of my choice and just change the center portion. So I took a white paper which is of the width which fits in between the grooves here and then of the length so that it can go around the whole circumference of the rolling pin and slightly overlap. Next I just place my small uh, ladybug on my paper so that I know the size and then I write the alphabets around it to form the word welcome. So instead of O there is a ladybug here. It looks really sweet and then I'm just going to glue this paper on the center you know just overlap and glue it at that point. and a cute rolling pin but to finish it I'm taking a red bow a ready-made one with a wire tag at the back uh, so it's easier to place this uh, bow onto the rolling pin I just twist the bias and it's a cute cute rolling pin in ladybug spring theme for my next DIY I'm using some white beads and some wooden beads I would have preferred to have red ones but these are really dark pink so it's okay so I'm just taking a needle and a thread and alternatively stringing together the white beads and the so-called red beads okay so this is an alternative red and pink or red and white and red and white uh, string of beads till I've got the required length and then I'm just taking the free ends of the threads and tying a knot not really close to the beads so that I have a little garland ready and some strings are left behind so that I can glue it to my spoon. So I took these uh, spoons, uh, especially the one which is really dark in color and has more wood grains showing through. This is a wooden spoon going with the theme today and I'm just going to glue the my little garland at the back side, the loose strings at the back side of the spoon so that it forms one end of the spoon. Then I shall stick using double sided tape a small ladybug onto my spoon. Now I have this little jar with me which is a clear jar and the top is white body lid and I can put in some kind of red uh, goodies or some content inside and on the lid I can put this little string or garland and the spoon with the ladybug and I think it will make a good decor functional too. This is a very quick idea. I took a black plastic container for holding food items. It's clear one, nice clean and I love these wooden clothes pin or wooden clothes peg. I especially use them for crafting. They have all the details and they are made of wood. So cute. I'm just attaching three of these pins or pegs on the edge of or the lip of my black container at slight distance apart then I'm taking three ladybugs and using double sided tape sticking them on the end of these clothes pin or clothes bags such that the ladybugs stand out against the black container and the wooden clothes pins and I can fill it with anything I like for display and use For my second last DIY, one can use a wooden block, wooden frame or something very similar. I am using white acrylic paint and a brush to write down my words, very important word for everybody's life. It says, always live in the bloom. I also made a dotted line showing the ladybug's path. My today's DIYs are part of the butterfly kisses and ladybug hugs. These 
cute little challenge is being hosted by Brenda from Rusty Can Lace DIY, Amanda from Six Kids and a Glue Gun, and Chantal from Crafty Hints. Do check out their channels and the playlist. The links are given in my description box below. Now, once my birds are ready, I'm taking a white cardstock paper and I need to make a flower, a bloom. So I just judge the size and I've cut a square piece out first. Then I round the edges to get a circle which will fit in perfectly at this corner. Now I use fine scissors to make shape and cut petals so that it's a whole flower with petals attached to it so you see i'm making the top curved curves for each petal but not going deep in uh, cutting deep until the center just halfway till the center not reaching the center so that all the petals are still attached and it's one full of flower so once i have to do all the flowers come to a full circle have a one big flower ready Next I turn the flower such that the base side or the down side of the flower faces me and then uh, taking my uh, scissors flat end, I'm curling my petals. I'm curling each petal individually downwards so that it gives that natural look of the flower. And once all the petals are curled down, I just turn over the flower again and bunch everything together to get that nice shape. So the flower looks more natural. Each petal can be more, you know, separately curled. Each uh, some more curled, some less curled. And I'm going to glue it at a position in this corner of my side. It's springtime, so let's have more colors and more details in the flower. So I'm using yellow and orange color pens to keep details such as pollens and strokes and uh, creases and more details to the flower. And then I take a small ladybug and place her in the bloom of the flower. And I have a lovely sign ready. Here is the final reveal of my ladybug themed tear tray decor with all the ladybug themed DIYs today. So let me introduce you. This is an addition I did not show you. Uh, this is a little picture that I painted in my recent video. I made it all white to look like white ceramic. I just added a ladybug in the center to give it the theme of ladybug. And I have added uh, two artificial red roses on the top to go with that red theme of ladybug. Here is the picture. Uh, you can add some fruits or anything you want. I wanted something red inside. And here is my little garland with the little spoon. I wish I had uh, a measuring spoon, but this is quite cute to have a ladybug sitting on my wooden spoon. So I have these elements of word, white, red and black here. Behind is the sign which says Ladybug Kisses, Spring Wishes, nice and bright, lovely color combination. And here is the rolling pin with red bow and a ladybug sitting on it saying welcome. Coming down is the tag hanging here on the lower tier and it says don't bug the lady and another ladybug here. And here I have put some sweets which are wrapped in red and white wrappers so perfect for this theme with the pegs and three little ladybugs sitting there and here is the sign on wood colors with white and white daisy with a little ladybug on it and it gives an important message always live in the bloom i'm so in love with this color combination the wooden elements the whites and then comes the pops of red with little touches of black in it. I just love this. I hope you loved watching this video and would like to recreate something. I really enjoyed this. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here and love budget DIYs, do subscribe with an all notifications bell. Thank you so much everyone for your support.
support, time, appreciation, encouragement. I'm really grateful to you for all your support. Have a great springtime. Have a great day. Thank you so much, friends.